Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Blake. So I'm curious about uh, what I'm about to ask uh, those of you who follow me, associate with me. Do you feel like uh, that you, when you get wake up in the morning and you power on your flat screens or your phones and you look down and start scrolling, are you looking for answers to something? Are you curious about something? Or this just a thing to do? It's probably just a thing to do. That's not the question. But my question is, whether you are a Democrat or Republican, the others don't matter because they don't allow room for anything else. Do you really feel like either one of those benefits this country best? If so, why or how? And I'm only asking this question because the more I listen to people that speak of both sides as if they are two competing systems and listening to people would lead you to believe that they are. In 2016, I shared a video about... Uh, Democrats and Republicans and why I didn't believe in neither one of them and why I don't have a reason to and I just do not I honestly feel like if you stop being more dependent on believing in something outside of yourself and start believing in yourself then your life will change for the better yeah, your life will change for the better because the system as we see it is not a system, it's a competing system of what's right for you, what's wrong for you. You're the only one with no say. Again, when you wake up in the morning, you power on your phones, you pop on the flat screens, there are advertisements. Are you looking for answers? Are you just curious? This is how people are all over the place, like stir crazy all over the place about things because they're being bombarded with bullshit. But there's a lot of money being spent because there are a lot of people that are going to buy into it and it keeps the system moving in that direction now I'm not saying do something stupid or anything like that but it's just something to think about when you wake up in the morning power your phones on power your flat screens on you're being bombarded with advertisements about things to make it better for you ultimately the only situation that makes it better for you is you. The only thing that makes it better for you is you. You start with self. And you make that your, your king's chair, your queen's chair. And you work it down from there. Right? It's all about a perspective. I don't have the absolute to nothing. I don't want it. Others can have it only thing that I'm saying is think about it look at it be critical as you listen but also be critical in your response of something respectfully speaking when I say that you ever listen to people sit next to somebody and watch them bad mouth someone about something now, that's a variable because you might know the person that's being bombarded and might like what that person's saying, might identify with that person saying, even if you don't like that person. Do you have the courage to say, no, what this person is saying, I identify with, despite the fact that that person sitting next to you is your homie? Or do you just, you know, look the other way? 
If someone's got something for me that I'm going to benefit from, I'm not letting no one take that away from me. I'm going to take that. It's like a burning house. Am I going to pay attention to his color or her color or the fact that the house is burning and I'm being worn? And so, or and likewise, with that understanding, I take what's good for me, wherever it may come from, and benefit from it as best I can. And then share it with others. Look, look, if I if if everybody that's listening right now pulled out a piece of paper and wrote down the 10 most important things to them, let's say that there's 20 people and y'all wrote down the five most important things to you. That's a lot of people identifying well hundred people. That's a lot of people identifying with the same thing. A hundred people that write down the five most important things. So that's 500 things. How much, what percentage of that is going to be? Let me see. How, what percentage is that is going to be the same? Very high in the 90s. My point is how closer connected we are than separate we are. If I took a picture of 20 people and I returned uh, a week later or a month later with that photo of those 20 people, all 20 people are going to look at that photo and they are going to identify with everyone in there based off of memory. But the most important person in that photo is the ninth letter alphabet. That's right. When we look at the sun, we look at happiness. When we look at the rain, we look at sadness. Those are emotional attachments that humans put on natural phenomenons because we want control over how they work. But you can't. My point is, you take the sun. The sun doesn't work in our system if there's no moon. The moon doesn't work in our system if there's no sun. Again, the unity piece. They work better when they work close when they work together. If I asked you what would serve a greater purpose. the sun and all its energy versus let's say a fly or something what serves a greater purpose the sun or the fly many will probably say the sun because of its massness its mass but if or should i say but both are maximizing their fullest potential at the same time. How can one be greater than the other? I'm saying these things because it's all perspective. No perspective, no connection, no understanding. There has to be some type of perspective. Again, everyone should get in where they fit in and be comfortable in their space of development and understanding but at the same time don't diminish or dismiss something that you're going to benefit from because you're uncomfortable that is where your learning truly comes from doing something for the first time or for the fifth time i know all this sounds philosophical but oh this is what i'm feeling so i'm sharing it like that i don't care Excuse me. Who's on the other side? What's on the other side? If that other side has something that I am going to benefit from down the road, then I need to take advantage of that when? Down the road or now? Obviously, now. So I take that now and work that to my advantage 
which builds my momentum, my esteem, and share it with others, right? Right. That's what we do, right? Right. Sometimes. So, if you're not there, just look to your left because you're not the only ones there. If you want to be there down the road, just know that there will be others there. What's my point? It all works out like it's supposed to, like it should. Right? It's just getting there. I'm sorry. Most people look at getting there. It's not getting there. It's what it takes as we evolve to that point. As we mature to that point. That's, when, that's where it's at. That is where it is at. Because you're building yourself up in a way that you don't, you don't see or think or feel. Like when you go to the gym. That first day, you're done. Second day, third day, fourth day. But after a while, your body gets used to it. Your body starts to change. You start eating right. You become more conditioned to this. You start dropping weight, which forms in the muscle. And you become consistent with it. Your body starts to physically change. Well, it's the same thing with anything else. The same thing with anything else. Of course, you have to eat right, too. Your diet has to be uh, synonymous with that, or it's not going to work. It's a waste of time. So, yeah. Something to think about. Something to consider. There's all kind of ways we can look at things. It elevates your motivation, or, your, or you become inspired to say and see things in a level that you never paid attention to, or someone has exposed to you. That's how we learn things, to exposure. The best self-exposure is to ask. Ask. If you are passionate about something, share that with others. Let them know what this is as you understand it. Share what this is for the direction that you are moving in that. None of what I'm saying is about being perfect or infallible. It's all about a perspective. Everything is subject to revision. Everyone is subject to shortcomings, downfalls. I did it again. What the fuck? I can't believe it. Then you have to be able to talk about it. Because if your voice is the only voice you're listening to, nope. You ever look at people that uh, have master plans or plan things? Look at people who build buildings. They have to have a, a solid understanding about something because they are building something for others to benefit from. For others to walk into every day, not with the understanding that this is a safe environment. So the structure has to be solid. That's why wherever I go, wherever I go, head up, held eye, eye contact. It's you ever look at somebody, look at someone that drives a $100,000 car, someone drives a $50,000 car. You only pay attention to the $50,000 car if the rest of the cars are $25,000. But once the $100,000 vehicle pulls up, you forget about the 50. This is the power of imagery, is my point. The power of image. Imagery is very strong. And when I say very strong, I mean for better or for worse. Imagery is very strong. So pick your fights wisely. Don't put yourself in a corner where you have to become more aggressive in your life. It ain't worth it. That energy could be used for something else. 
whatever that may be. So, yeah, that was it. I'm done. All right, this is Blake. Enjoying this nice, beautiful Sunday morning at 1045. Uh, what's today's March? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. March 20th, 2022 at 1045. Boston, Mass. Word.